So that's the first simple topic that's kind of the, one of the few analog things. A, a more common one than mastering vinyl is the simplest one is, say, in a, in a speaker crossover. So here's a, a very simple crossover. That's a tweeter. I realize it's not a very special one. And this represents, let's say, a woofer. And if these are lined up on the same surface, which is the most convenient case, perhaps, without staggering mechanically in some way, <clears throat> if we were to look at the acoustical center, it might be about here in the tweeter and maybe about here in the woofer. And if our goal is to align these in time, we have a problem because the acoustical center of the woofer is deeper in the cabinet than the tweeter. So what we can do in a crossover, in a digital system, that's not really something we can do in an analog crossover, uh, at least not when it's constructed like this, is we can delay the uh, tweeter. And we delay the tweeter by this amount, of t by the time difference between these two sp points. However milliseconds or, or so that would be. Probably, probably uh, uh, you know, several hundred microseconds perhaps. So we can fix that. And we do that routinely in digital crossovers. The, um, and so that's one of the simplest things that almost every cro DSP crossover that we're involved with or anyone else is almost always does time alignment of the drivers today. Uh, in the past, we would have done that by perhaps mechanical means to line up the acoustical centers.